Today is a big day. Baby girl is five and a half months roughly. She'll be six months and two weeks. And today is gonna be the first official full day of sleep training. Now, I have been practice runs with her naps with sleep training. And what I mean practice runs is trying to see if one, I can transition her from her little bassinet next to my bed to a crib. It's been kind of in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Some naps have been decent, some naps have been hard. So yeah, I decided that, you know, this time around with Noelle, that I definitely want to start training her early. With Nala, I didn't actually start sleep training her until she was one years old. And if you guys don't remember, I was going crazy crazy i was so sleep deprived she was uh eating in the middle of the night still having night snacks and all that stuff and i was just like over it so i went doing, doing some research and everything like that and i found the fiber i think it's called fiber fiber if i can find that i'll probably put it here method of sleep training and that's exactly what i did with nala and it took us about four four days to sleep train her and I swear that was the best decision that I've made so I decided that this time around I was gonna wait that late now with Noel I don't think it's gonna be too too hard to sleep train her because one she's already kind of been in her own bassinet this whole time she hasn't been in our bed at all i do feed her her nice snacks in the bed but outside of that she actually sleeps in her bassinet but she is also starting to get a little bit too big for it so i don't know what we're gonna do in the more permanent sense but i do have a crib in the girls playroom but i realized that the age of Nala and age of Noel is so different that I'm not really comfortable um, with putting in the, them in the same room. So I don't know if I'm keep this crib in this room or actually put it in our room. So I don't know if that's to be continued, but for now, we're gonna be using the crib. So right now it is around that 11.30 mark. I just put Nala down for her nap. It's a little bit late cause they got up like nine o'clock. So I put Nala down already. Don't know if she's asleep yet, but I ended up feeding Noelle um, some baby food and she had a little bit of a bottle. Now she is passed out on her boppy lounger. So we need to hurry up and get in there. But the first thing I am planning on doing is actually going inside the room, turning on the sound music that she tends to fall asleep too fast. So I'm gonna turn off the lights, do all that, prep the room, and then get ready to transfer her from the bobby pillow to um, the room where the crib is.
as you can see, Nala is actually still awake. If you look at her leg, she is actually moving it. And it is around 11.41. So, she's been in there roughly 10-15 minute tops. Let's check on Noel. So far, so good. Noel is still sleeping up. I was going to say we spoke too soon, but she is still sleeping. I do predict her to wake up and start whining at some point when she realizes that she's alone. Because she really doesn't like to be alone. She doesn't really mind to sleep at the time. But at the same time, she when she realizes she's alone, she doesn't really like it. Um, but I really, really need her to get more sleep. She's always been pretty decent with sleeping at night with one or two night feedings or something like that. But during the day, I always felt like for her age, even before this, that she doesn't nap as much as I feel that she really should. So by default, because of the two times that I end up putting Nala to bed, she's somewhat on that same schedule. But she just doesn't sleep as long. She usually naps for like 30 minutes. But Nala only gets two naps a day and then a bedtime. And pretty much that's the same schedule that Noelle has been on. Um, so the biggest goal that I want to get from this is one, I'm transferring her to a new environment. So I want her to get settled. And two, I want her to at least get the two-hour naps that Nala get. If she's not going to be napping throughout the day, she needs to at least get those two hours at the same time. So that is the goal. And if you don't know about the fiber method, and that's if I'm saying that correctly, basically it is some form of cried out, but um, you do comfort them at certain points of time so usually the first day you let them cry for like five minutes so from the time that they start to actually cry not whimper you time that for five minutes so after five minutes you go in there for one minute comfort them pat them back or whatever i think you want to refrain from picking them up i usually don't pick her up unless it's really bad um but pat them on the back for a minute let them know that they're okay and then walk out and then you'll do 10 minutes the next time and then another 10 minutes the next time and basically until they fall asleep so that is the method i'm going to be using for her the second day i know the time starts out a little bit later i even think the first day you even start off with three minutes then five minutes then 10 minutes yeah that's what it is three minutes after they cry, it has to be continual cry. If they end up breaking in between the cry, the three minutes or whatever minutes you're on starts over. So if they start to cry and then they end with a, <sighs> well, that, that time starts over. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing today um, because it, it, it's time, you know, I need my bed uh, I need my space. I need nap. So the biggest problem I have personally that makes me want to do this outside of that is that I'm not getting proper naps because she's sleeping for 30 minutes. About time I put Noelle down, eat or whatever, and get ready to take a nap when they're napping, she's up. So I need her to get two hours. And I think the biggest thing that's going to help in her getting longer sleep is really filling her up. She just started solids recently. And she is loving the baby food and the purees and stuff like that. And I started putting like oatmeal in her milks. So I just did that when I had fed her. And I think that's going to be my saving grace this time around um, sleep training. Because I noticed in my soft versions of sleep training she has been getting super sleepy immediately after eating her baby food so i'm like perfect time because usually after they're done it's almost like 20 30 minutes away from actual bedtime so uh yeah i am actually gonna take my nap too as well because like I said, I gotta sleep when they're sleeping. And then we'll see how much you make it. If she ends up crying, I'ma record that. Yeah, she is moving a little bit, but no crying yet. So, what? hey, what time is it? 11.51 a.m. 
So it's 11.51. So the goal is for them to sleep at least till 11 or 1.20 or something like that. 1.20, 1.30. Let's hope. So not even 10 minutes later, she's crying. So the time is gonna start pretty much now. It's 11.55. I'm not gonna wait three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the five minutes. The way the system works is you can choose which minutes you wanna follow. Look at see, she already take a break, so her time actually has to restart. Yeah, she just did that little whimper. She probably gonna start again the whimper. Yeah, I guess she just chilling for now. Let's see if she starts back again. It's eleven fifty six. All right, guys, so it actually is a few hours, quite a few hours later. Um, David is home, as you can see. Yeah. So to give you a little bit of an update, because clearly Noah is passed out right now. It is currently part around that 4.30 mark. What ended up happening after she went to bed at, at 11, she kind of got up on and off, on and off, pretty much two more times until 1.15, she just kind of had it all, which was good because she already been sleeping. You know, she slept basically the two hours that I wanted her to sleep, but it was interrupted sleep. So, she did really fantastic at the end of the day. Her whining the three or four times ain't really a gigantic deal. I'm just hoping that maybe I can fill her up a little bit more because like I said, 115, she was kind of over it. She was hungry. So now it is, like I said, 434 and she is knocked out. She had eight, um, some, what she eat? Spinach, green beans, and zucchini. Yeah, it was a Gerber baby food, and that's what she had, and then she had a bottle right after that. All right, sorry, I had to actually put her down and get our life situated, because that was hectic. So let me basically get you guys all caught up. What ended up happening was, Noelle did end up sleeping till 115 she did cry on and off maybe about two three more times i didn't want to keep cutting on the camera to show you her whining and then finally going back to sleep uh most of her whining didn't last more than a few minutes or so but she did whine which kind of kept me up and by the time i got up i was so exhausted so because of that the next game plan is to make sure that she ate a lot more so that's what happened we had ended up feeding her david had got her some dry food and she ate pretty much all that and then, i put oatmeal in it too oh yeah and then we ended up giving her a bottle because she still seemed hungry after that she gets the itis and now she passed out so we just put her down as you can see here she's in her crib and we just put nala down nala's figuring it out she'll eventually go to sleep whenever she chooses to but either way with nala we always make sure that she stays in the crib whether she's up or 
not unless she just really hollering and she's really not going to sleep otherwise we keep her right now so let's see if she sleeps at least until like that 6 20 6 30 time and we'll, we'll we'll kind of just play it by ear so i'm just giving you a bit of an update the next time you will see us is getting her up good morning how are you how are you <laughs> it's not morning time <laughs> really <laughs> really been watching too many other shows yeah <laughs> Coming back to you live and army-ish. Don't I look like a, uh, uh, like a candidate of basic? Yeah. <laughs> you do. I look like I'm in basic training mm -hmm. with the army sand color. Got my, my army little tail. Well, theirs will be swirled around like that. Did y'all know I was going to go into the um, army about good, what, three years ago? Mm -hmm. What'd you think about your decision? Um... I wouldn't have kids. Yeah, I wouldn't have these two. Mm -mm. She said, I don't want to hear that. But anywho, coming to you guys is definitely, as you can tell, at night. Uh, I ended up falling asleep. We all went to sleep when the babies went to sleep. I didn't end up waking up until close to 8 o'clock. Yeah, you was gone. <laughs> I was so tired, y'all. And then David forgot to grab the camera. So Noelle ended up what? Now you can tell. So what happened? I just saw her moving on the monitor so I could tell she was up. So I walked in there and she was just chilling in the crib. You know, put her legs up in the air and everything. But she wasn't crying? She wasn't crying. But uh, she was looking at me like, yeah, I'm ready to get out. Uh, grabbed her and had her milk ready. Um, and she was pretty much up from that point. So it seemed like she got a good nap in. I think it was a full two hours. Yeah, it was a full two hours. Yeah. So, so far, sleep training day one is overall successful. Generally, the naps as we did the soft version of the sleep training has been the hardest part. I don't think uh, any of the naps though, we had to actually go in. No. Yeah, so we about to put her down. We're late once again. I think it's after nine o'clock. Hey, what time is it? It's 9.37 PM. Ooh, it's late. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> It was lately. Time just flies when you, you gotta do this and that. Oh my god. Clearly she's way past the time. Look at her. She's floating. I predict that she's not gonna try to wake up until after one. Mm -hmm. Maybe around two. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing so far now is to see if we cannot have to feed her. She is still five months, so if she still wants to eat at night, I'm gonna feed her, and I won't really be mad about it, because generally, as long as she eats, she's, she's pretty fine. So, that's the goal. Make it at least five o'clock in the morning, and then, yeah, see how it goes in the morning. But I right, just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, she's in bed. She's not quite asleep yet but she's still, you can see her eyes open. One thing I forgot to mention about this method too is that you wanna be very careful about nursing to sleep because they're gonna always want you to feed them in order for them to go to sleep. So one of the things you have to learn to let them soothe themselves and also doing that helps them to not be so alarmed and so cranky when they wake up in the morning. I think Nala has mastered, and this is part of the only time she mastered, to just be calm when she wakes up in the morning. So generally she just hangs tight, play with herself until we come get her. And at night, sometimes we do put soft toys in her crib. So when she wakes up, she has something familiar to play with. So. That's one of the things that we're trying to instill by doing this as well. But yeah, I gave her some bottle. Then I just had to walk away and just to be confident that she had enough food to make her through the night. So if we need to wake up, like I said, and soothe her, we guys will let you know. All right, good morning, people. It is currently 
712. It's not really focusing, but Noelle is still sleeping right now. Oh, so she's looking like this. She moved one time, so I'm kind of anticipating that she may be waking up a little bit soon. I'm just preparing and getting everything ready. Turn on her sound noise rain frog to go back to sleep. So she's doing really good right now with sleep training. I don't know what time Clarissa went in there. Um, last night I could have been asleep and she could have went in there and fed her again. Um, so I'm not sure, but she looks like a little angel right now. She always, I think it's funny, she always sleeps with her arms up like that. Okay guys, so it is 8.06. Surprisingly, this is a little later than usual, so that means she slept a little longer. But as you can see, she's moving around a lot. I'm going to actually go and get her right now. Okay, yeah guys, we are all set. So she slept really good and for a really long time, but I think it went well. All right, and just like that, we are officially done with the end of day one of sleep training. As you can see, David had got Noelle up. It is roughly two o'clock now. I do end up getting up later because I go to sleep late. I didn't actually go to sleep until 6 a.m. because of my anxiety and everything like that because Noelle's crib right now is, is on the other side of the house. So I'm going through my anxiety issues with that but one thing i can say is she did not wake up last night at all she did not wake up i've been up cleaning preparing my house getting stuff situated but she did not wake up i went to bed it was like 602 i posted on instagram and yeah she has not waken up i really thought she was going to but she did not so honestly it was an amazing amazing first official full day sleep training in her crib david did not record um getting her up from her second nap said that went pretty well so i do plan on continuing giving updates it might not be every single day but we will be making a separate video of maybe like the whole week i'm not really positive yet um we are going out of town tomorrow so i don't plan on sleep training when we're out of town because that is a little funny so i really probably should have considered that when starting this but i'm not really too worried or pressured so it's probably going to be a little bit before we actually um continue uh, with another part that you will see because we're not going to be back until Wednesday. We probably won't officially sleep train again until Thursday and today is, you know, Saturday. So yeah, as you can see, it went very, very well. So yeah, that is all for this video. If you have any tips, advice, or just want to um, ask any questions, please comment down below. I definitely love you guys. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tap out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,